Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about annotation columns in our XSheet view. We can find our XSheet view by clicking the plus up here and going down to XSheet, which my XSheet is already showing, and if your XSheet view toolbar is not showing like mine is, you can right click in the gray area and make sure XSheet view is checked off. So we add annotation columns by clicking the rectangle with the plus next to it where it says add columns click that guy and we go down to type and select annotation from the drop down and we can even give it a name if you want right here annotation notes and we can hit add and close so here is our annotation column and it allows us to grab the edge here and resize it if we wish so where are we? Where are we doing here? This this piece of animation right now that I'm working on is very rough. We're in the thumbnail stage. I'm just getting an idea of where the timing is, where our, what our poses are going to be, and it's all kind of still in flux at this point. And annotation columns can help serve as a way of writing notes for ourselves, where we think things will happen and we can change them. And it also serves as a way of serves as a reference for us in the future. So the first thing we can do is, if I hold down Shift, by the way, I can move around in my XSheet view by holding down Shift. You'll see the hand appear, and I can grab, and navigate through my XSheet. We can draw in our annotation column simply by drawing like this. I have a stylus in my hand, and I'd like to point out that it is not pressure sensitive right now. If you do not have one of those fancy styluses, make sure that your little brush up here in the upper corner is showing to be able to draw in our annotation column. If we want to change, if we think this is too thick, we can change the thickness of our pen by going to the menu icon, going down to annotation, and playing with our settings here with in pen width to make it you know, super thin like that. To erase it, I flip my stylus over and just erase it like so, like that. And again, if you don't have one of these fancy styluses, you can Go up to our brush and click that, turn it into the eraser, and erase to your heart's content like that. So that said, now we another thing we can do is we can type in our annotation columns to help give us notes where things are going to happen, where they're going to take place. If our brush or eraser are, are already picked, we can hold down the control button and click in any empty cell and begin to type jump. And we can do another one, land. And what if we don't like that? What if we put them in the wrong spot? Well, we can edit our annotations. So we can go back up to our little icon up here again, and we can click on that one more time, and it turns into an arrow so that we can now make some selections and move some things around. So let's say jump is in the wrong spot. So maybe jump needs to go maybe like around here at frame 16 so we can select jump you'll see my cursor turns into a little crosshair click and drag that guy down to frame 16 and where else land land happens right here at frame 19 we can click on land and drag it up to frame 19 let go of it now we can even draw in here to get a little more detailed information maybe through here she's let's see jumping through here so we can do a little annotation we can draw a little bit here just something like this jumps and lands and go oh that looks pretty good just like that and again we can move all of this information by just clicking until we can make a selection we can drag and then we can just click and drag and move stuff around as we see fit so another thing we can do is import some files if we need to to serve as any sort of reference or even inspiration I have a little thumbnail image that I drew that I thought kind of captured some of the spirit of what I was working on here. So I can click on an empty cell, go back up to our menu, go to annotation and import file. And here's my image, I'll double click and I can make it a, bit, a little bit bigger so we can see it. And so now even here we can add some notes to this. 
Oh, so let's change it to brush. Keep hand like this. And we can draw an arrow to it. And again, we can move it by going to our selection tool, making a selection by clicking and dragging, and then just moving it around in time where we think it fits best. And we can even print out our annotation notes by going to File, we can go to Print, and we can go to X Sheets to launch our printer driver. So that's it for annotation notes. They're really handy for keeping track of timing and anything else we might think that is inspirational to our animation.